A group of children are playing near two different railway tracks. While one track is operational, the other is disused. Only one child is on the disused track, and the rest of the children are playing on the operational track. A passenger train is approaching fast. In this situation, assume you're just standing beside the track interchange. You are in control of the track and can change the track whatever way you decide. Since you're standing quite far from the children, you don't have enough time to go or shout to the kids about a fast approaching train. You have two choices here. You can make the train change its course to the disused track and save most of the kids by sacrificing the life of a lone child playing on the disused track. Or would you rather let the train go on its way? Most people would choose diverting the course of the train and sacrifice only one child to save the lives of ten children. One life versus ten. Ten lives are more precious. Seems an obvious decision, doesn't it? When I heard this the first time, I instantly thought this way only because saving the lives of many children by sacrificing life of one child appears to be a rational decision that most people would make, morally and emotionally. But pause for a moment and think a bit harder. What is the fault of the child choosing to play on the disused track, who in fact made a right decision to play in a safe place? Why does his life warrant a sacrifice merely because his ignorant friends chose to play where the danger was? Leo Velsky Julian, a critic who told the above story, said he would not try to change the course of the train because he believed that the kids playing on the operational track should have known very well that the track was still in use and they should have run away when they heard the train's siren. If the train had been diverted, that lone child would definitely die, because he never thought the train would come over to that track. Moreover, that track was not in use, probably because it was not safe. If the train had been diverted to the track, the lives of all passengers on board would have been at stake. And in your attempt to save a few kids by sacrificing one child, you might end up sacrificing hundreds of people. You might have realized by now how a decision that immediately seemed like a straightforward choice, though emotionally a bit hard, can prove to be a worse choice with a little bit of thinking. Life sometimes offers tough choices in disguised form, and making hasty decisions in such situations may not always be the right move. Though all the decisions in front of us are not of life-and-death situations, still, there's no denying that we have to make decisions almost all the time.